Hey, are those pesky insects and other varmints bothering you? You have come to the right place. Solutions has the solution to your problem. Hey, my name's Keith McCoy. I'm with Solution Self Chem. If you're a do-it-yourselfer like myself, hey, you've come to the right place. We have the answers to your problem. Hey, let's go back a few years. Mother's putting you to bed, kisses you to good night, and says, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Now, oh, you didn't think much of it. Well, she probably didn't either. But let me tell you, bed bugs, they're for real. There's a number of things that we can do. We can use heat treatments. We can do chemical treatments. Chemical treatment is probably the best bet for homeowners. Tell you what, come with me. Let me show you what we can do. Here we're in a bedroom where we've had some bed bug activity in the past. It's important that we concentrate on those areas where bed bugs rest. This includes mattress, box spring, cracks and crevices of furniture, inside wall voids, and around baseboards. First thing we want to do is we want to remove all the bedding material from our beds. We want to take all the furniture apart, exposing all the voids and cracks and crevices. We can take our mattress and stand it up against the wall and our box spring and do the same thing there. We want to take this sprayer. We're going to take Vector Band Plus and we're going to mix the proper amount according to label directions. This side of the bottle over here is your measuring device. We take it, just squeeze the bottle, product comes up through the straw, fills into the reservoir. Take it, pour that into our sprayer. We're going to take Gentrol and we're going to mix Gentrol in with it. The Vector Band Plus is going to kill our adult stage uh, bed bugs. The Gentrol is actually going to act as an insect growth regulator. We're going to mix that in a gallon of water, close our sprayer, pressurize it, and then we're going to treat the seams of the mattress. Also, we want to treat the buttons on top of the mattress if they're there. On the box spring, we can take and treat the back side of it. There's a netting material that you can cut into and expose the frame and treat all back up in there. Also, we want to make sure that we treat behind our light switch plates and our plug plates. We want to remove all of the screws on the plate. And then once we remove that, we want to make sure that we do not come in contact with any exposed wires. Better yet, you might want to go ahead and just turn the electricity off. Once we have removed the electrical plate, we're going to take defense dust and we're going to blow this dust into the electrical box by squeezing the bottle. Again, make sure that you do not make contact with any exposed wires. Once you've completed treating the box spring and the mattress, you can use the same solution to treat your baseboards. You want to apply the product to the top of the baseboard so that it runs down and fully coats the entire board. Moving on to our furniture, we want to make sure that we take the furniture completely apart. This includes removing dresser drawers, removing all screws that may be keeping the furniture together. Once we've done that, we can use a product called Eco PCO. This product will allow you to treat the voids and cracks and crevices where bed bugs hide during the day. Once we've completed that, then you can put your furniture back together and put it back in position where you had it. Well, it looks like we've done just about everything we can for this customer on these bed bugs. A couple of things to remember though. One, if you have an older mattress, you might want to consider just going ahead and throwing it out. If you have a newer mattress, you might want to purchase a box spring or mattress cover. This will protect your mattress from new infestations. Also, don't forget where these bed bugs hide. It may be necessary that you go back in a couple of weeks and reapply the product again. Do not leave any stone unturned. Bed bugs will come back to bite you. Hey, I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Chem. Ask us how, then do it yourself.